Hello there. Well, there's a surprise. A court has ruled it would be inappropriate to make an order that Boris must ask for a Brexit Article 50 extension. A case brought in Scotland against the Prime Minister Boris Johnson to try and put a court order in place to force him to comply with the Ben Surrender Act because it is thought he might not do has failed. The Outer House of the Court of Session in Edinburgh has decided that it would be neither necessary nor appropriate to force Boris Johnson to ask for a Brexit extension in accordance with the Ben Surrender Act because, the court says, there is no doubt that the PM understands he is required to do so in the event of a no-deal scenario due to the unequivocal assurances given to the court by the government and the PM that they will abide by the law. In giving his decision, the judge, Lord Pentland, said he was not persuaded that it is necessary for the court to grant the orders sought or any variant of them. And he also said... I am not satisfied that the petitioners have made out their case based on a reasonable apprehension of breach of statutory duty on the part of the Prime Minister. This has of course not met with the approval of those bringing the case, who had hoped to tie Boris down to being forced, by court order, to immediately send the Article 50 extension letter and immediately accept any offer of one so they will be appealing the case to the inner house of the Court of Session as early as tomorrow. Funny how, once again, an anti-Brexit case can progress so swiftly up through the tiers of the court system, isn't it? And that well-known lawyer helping bring the case, Joe Lyon Moham QC, said that there are now risks of an unlawful Brexit. Speaking outside the court, he said... The court said it has promises from the government that the government will send the letter mandated by Parliament and will act in a way as not to frustrate Parliament's intention in enacting the so-called Ben Act. For myself, I very much hope the court is right and the government will, as it has promised to do, abide by the law. But there is very real doubt in my mind that the government will act in accordance with the law and so tomorrow we will pursue our appeal against the decision of the outer house to the inner house of the court of session. And the QC representing the petitioners in the case, Aidan O'Neill, said Boris Johnson has repeatedly said he will not seek an extension and the UK will leave the EU on the 31st of October with or without a deal one way or another. For that reason, we have asked the courts to intervene to prevent the very real likelihood of the law being broken and great harm ensuing. This is the essence of an injunction, to prevent such a thing. I hope that tomorrow the senior court will rule in our favour, will make clear to Boris Johnson that he too must follow the law and that they will issue the extension letter if he does not. And we have to wonder if this will follow the same course as the prorogation case, where the government won the first case in Edinburgh but lost the appeal. But as both the PM and other government ministers have always been clear to state that they will be abiding by the law, what could be the possible justification for judges making such an order as requested by the Remain-driven campaigners? Maybe we'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.